Hey and welcome everyone back to Let's Play Need for Speed Underground 2 part number 32 Caponator here and it's a pleasure to talk to you today I welcome you back to this Let's Play of the good old PlayStation 2 Classic I mean it also was on PC and everything of course but for me it was a PlayStation 2 Classic and we only have circuit races left what is the thing we will do today? I hope it's, we have enough time for all of them. The problem is, circuit races often cause the game to crash, so I just start this game, uh, this race here, and I'll hope for the best. Because already this race here, I guess I tried two or three times. It crashed every time the game. Let's hope for some more luck this time. If not, I'm sorry, but I tried. I mean, I will just have to come. I will just have to come. I hope you all were doing fantastic this week. For me, it's Friday evening while I'm recording. This is episode here, I guess, is for Sunday if I have the time to edit it and everything. I had a pretty interesting end of the week to say. Thursday evening, I was with my girlfriend, and then suddenly we had an a electrical breakdown. Nothing was working anymore. Then after like one and a half hour, I mean for us it was like no worries, okay, we go to bed, it was already late anyways. Problem number one, I have smart lights at home and when they get disconnected from electricity and then reconnected, they turn on. I have an LED strap under my bed, I have some lamps in my living room and everything. And yep, all of them just uh, suddenly while we try to sleep or already fell asleep, them had to turn on because electricity was back. No worries, I just turned them off. Took like five minutes until everything was online, also with the Wi-Fi and, and so on. But then everything was okay, we were good to go. And this morning, another cool discovery I made. My refrigerator isn't working anymore. Um, everything in the really cold, like freezing department, was uh, liquid. Some fresh uh, ice cubes ready, but yeah, they weren't really ice cubes anymore. They were as real and hard as uh, the good old ice cube uh, wrapper is. Not existing anymore, I guess. And uh, so on. So I tried to turn it back on, put it in a, in a like folder uh, mode and stuff like that, but nothing did help. The thing was actually already like the last two months ago, from time to time my refrigerator just uh, had blinking lights while opening it. I guess this was like sort of uh, signaling some errors. Um, but for me it was fine because it worked, I was just like, okay, yeah, it's just maybe turned off for like 10 minutes, but then it's turning on again and everything's fine. But since then it hasn't. I then came back after work, actually during the day I contacted my uh, real estate, I guess you call it, I'm not really sure. The guys keep uh, track of the, the, the apartments and everything because I'm not the owner of the apartment, obviously. I only have the money to rent it. And, yeah, to conclude it, they uh, organized uh, somebody who will come and... I'm trying so bad. Come and check it. Downside. They only have time on the Tuesday next week, so I have a full weekend and two more days without any cold stuff. I will have to throw away a lot of stuff, and I also uh, will not really be able to buy something new because I can't keep it cool. Which is really a shame, but that's how it is. Yeah. It doesn't worry me too much because I didn't plan to buy a lot of stuff for the refrigerator break anyways. And I told you, crash number one. I'll be right back after a cut and then I uh, will speak about my plans uh, for next week. And we're back with lap 2 out of 3 more or less at the same space. I had to count this a little bit and I hope we don't have crashes anymore. But this race is actually going a little bit worse because we're not even leading. I just have to do it like that with like some different lap from different races and cuts. Since the game's crashing so randomly. 
the chances of me literally being able to do all three laps in one day it's kind of slow mode so i'm back with the story of my refrigerator and yeah uh i didn't plan to buy a lot of stuff anyways since on wednesday i'm going to did not fucking drive like this bro i did plan on going to the electric love festival so it's not that, it's not the worst day that something like this could happen and my refrigerator isn't working anymore. At least somebody's coming really soon to check it. That's cool for me. That's, uh, I hope cool by then. Not too much stress. And I just hope that they can, uh, I guess they will not be able to fix it. Most of the time problem is that they only have uh, like they they lose gas those refrigerators if they have some leaking uh, spots and most of the time the money to actually repair it is more expensive than just buying a new one so yeah I will I will most likely get a new one I guess he's like I will get a new victory here I hope if we can keep this last half lap without crashes. And then he crashes off the game for once, because the rest is actually working kind of fine for us. Doing really good. Crossed fingers, the spot where he crashed several times is coming. Please. Please don't crash, baby. Please don't crash. It doesn't. Yes. Oh, come on. That's great. That's really great. I'm so glad we made it. Now we made it. A lot of money and the safe. Safe really important because uh, when we're crashing we will be back here again. I'm now just heading for the next circuit race, which is... Yeah, we go for the one over there. Uh, which I hope will work a little bit better than this one. We will see in a minute. Till then. Look at this agile, dynamic Shelly car. I still love the car though. I really like it. It was a great tip from one of the viewers. A really great request to tune this thing. And here we are in front of the next event. Let me just quick head. Can I save here? Not gonna add. I need quick jump back to the garage. I'm sorry for those few seconds of uh, time loss, but I wanna save. I do not wanna head back uh, the whole route every time. If I should get another crash here, let's hope for the best. We will see how well it's going in the next circuit race. Ooh, that car is looking kind of thick. I like the 350 set. But Jellica will do it. Come on, buddy. We're better than them. Okay, we're kind of slower than them, but don't worry, don't worry. We don't need the best acceleration to beat those guys. We have the best curves. And we're playing it kind of dirty, of course. Yep, and that's our lead. Easy as that. I was closer than I wanted it to be. A little break here. Ooh, that power slide was a little bit too far. Ooh, the body taking it serious. The body is not gonna pass. Yep. That edge did kind of hurt you more than it hurt me. That's fine by me, baby. I was actually hoping you would lose anyway, but it Peugeot. Still hate that car. She's not hating it. I just think it's really ugly. And I just think that Peugeot is kind of meh. They're not making bad cars, but let's say they're just making cars. Is that fair? Yeah, I guess that's fair. There are a lot of people out there actually not liking French cars. It's the only one who are liking French cars are French people, which... Yeah, even a lot of them prefer driving like, I don't know, Japanese cars or European cars, like German cars or... I don't know, American cars, which is one of, which is, which is how you don't like, like there's some several typical models, some people just always decline, like for example Fiat Multiply, it's just ugly and everything, 
I know that we had a lot of when I was still working on the uh, cars from the VW Volkswagen concern group. Sorry, group is the right word. We had people driving Audi A2. And this car is just like this really weird aluminium egg, which I never liked. But as longer and the older as it got, I realized how actually it was great. Like. Uh, in terms of technically, it was almost full aluminium, it was really lightweight. The hood in front you just took off completely. You didn't just lift it up, you took it off like completely as one person easy since it was so lightweight and you just had a few few movements to do. It was nothing like attached with a screw or something. So this is just some like easy clip-out mechanism stuff like that. Really cool. And also the also the air airflow was really good on this car. It was I think it had one of the best streamline streamline uh, coefficients above all cars. I mean maybe not as good as hypercars and stuff like that, but like the more uh, standard cars, serial cars, really had one of the best ones. And I also what's another car I don't like? I think that the little Abarth 500. You know the fast, yeah. Uh, who sound just really, really loud, but actually are really, really uncool because they're just making a lot of noise. But I mean, I get it that kind of good amount of power for the weight they have, but they're not cool. It's just like mini toys just making a lot of noise. That's it. Mini uh, a loud mini toys are on on wheels basically. That's my statement about it. Except that, I don't have that. As I said, French cars in general, not my thing. You know, I have to admit that the newer, uh, newer, newer Peugeot are actually kind of beautiful and kind of nice design. Technical wise, like modern stuff like that, I don't have any idea if they're good or not. But the design, I kind of like it. Ooh, this body's taking it serious. He's not gonna let us win. By the way, do you realize that we're actually in lap number 3 without having a crash so far? Please, let me finish the race without having one. Mm, kinda going towards the end of the race if I'm not completely wrong. There's a car, avoid it, thanks. That crash would have been fatal. Because if we crashed there, we wouldn't be able to make it. I was worried about hitting that little ledge there. Here we are. Here we are. Nice. A second race. In one cut. And right as we save, it crashes. I'll see you back after the second cut. And we're back. Right at the spot where we left. We did the race. And I guess it was enough to save. We got new window tints. Cool. That's everything? Okay. Um, we got like... I lost count of how many more minutes. Wait, did that just spawn a new circuit race? Why do you pay me with that? Okay, we just go for that. It's the closest one anyways, and they're most likely to crash. I don't even need to save here because this little travel was so short. I can do this even if we should have another crash. Fingers crossed! I, I thought it already crashed on the bottom screen. Look at the beautiful Charlie car. Beautiful. Mustang also looking kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, buddies, you can go. I don't care. I really don't care. We will get you in like a few seconds. Maybe minutes, but we will be cool. Especially since you're basically crashing yourself. Of course, we're going for the short move, just like this guy here does. He's the smart one, then, I guess. Nobody. I don't think you will do that. 
I really don't think so. This is one of the really cool highway races where you basically just make laps on the highway. I love that. And though it makes it kind of hard for us because the enemies also reaching their top speed that what they normally don't do that often, which is then most of the time they are advantage. Even though now they're kind of getting space from us a little bit. Okay, we're good to go in one and a half seconds. We can keep up like that. The pace, the speed, and everything. Going in the wrong direction. Going for the risk planes a little bit. Here we go. Another one. This high speed feels so great. I don't I don't think that this little blurry screen is kind of annoying. Okay, what did I touch there? Visually there wasn't nothing anymore and I'm completely wrong. Maybe I'm I don't know wrong, but you get the point. I did the cost us a little bit of speed because those guys are coming fast. Just like I'm always caught no, maybe really. Maybe. Bad jokes. Sex jokes. Sometimes when I'm watching YouTube, some really popular stuff, most of the time is only around that. Some sex jokes and most of the people watching it and commenting it, I guess are like some 12 year old kids. Who just think it's really funny and I don't know what. I would really be interested in what YouTube views would look like if they're only like counted from people who are at least 18 years old, or let's say 16. I guess this would shift the whole viewership a lot. At least assume it. Would really be interesting. There we go. Doing good, that's doing good, even though the body is really close again. Can't see this body. That wasn't good. It's gonna bypass us if he's not crashing. Did I hear a crash? I think so. I'm sorry, buddy. You have to play dirty on the streets. If you don't, you may miss or lose. And that's definitely not something I want to do. I'm by the way already nervous, hoping that we don't get another uh, crash. The longer I play the game without having one, the more I'm getting nervous. It's actually kind of astonishing that in the beginning of the game there was like for about 20 episodes I never had a crash and then suddenly it started happening from episode to episode, maybe once, maybe zero times, then again twice. Really special. There we go, make it fast, buddy. Great thing. A lot of money, some reputation. We wanna save, we do it slowly this time. And we didn't crash. I would say we head to the next one, which is up there. Up in the north. Like this we then can do start the next episode with this one there and also doing the next two or the last two. I hope it's going to be the last two and then not putting again in some more circuit races. Everything else I'm actually kind of fine with because most of the time it doesn't crash. The circuit races are somehow really triggering it. Cheer, buddy. Here we are. We're saving it from here, I'll see you back here in the next episode. Until then, I wish you a really great time, enjoy your day, evening, or whatever, when you're watching this video, I don't know, maybe your whole weekend. I'm uploading this on Sunday, likely, so it's not gonna be the weekend. But everything, uh, anything, anyways.
enjoy it i'm Caponator. if you also enjoyed this video hit the like subscribe button it was a pleasure feel free to do it you don't have to content is coming anyways yeah i hope to see you back soon for another video ciao Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa.